Tommy Archer. I mean, not really. Like you, you better keep that technically, technically, my real name is Tommy Archer. Uh, I'm going to get married here soon, and I'm going to take my fiance's last name. Okay, that's different. Yeah, I, uh, we kind of talked on before the pod or whatnot, but, you know, everybody got di- The reason I call it Palette Podcast because everybody got different palettes. Everybody got different surroundings, different backgrounds, different family relationships, that's all right. sorts of shit. So mine wasn't the best. So, you know, when we talk about family names or what legacy you leaving and, you know, I don't feel right representing a name that didn't fulfill me any. You right, know what I'm saying? Right, like, right, right. It wasn't a ton of it learning feel like lessons. like a fake name almost. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it feels comfortable because I've had it so long. But when it comes to the reality of what it made me, that's not who I want to be, you know? So I'm trying to break those circles, you yeah, know, break yeah. those bonds. You know, life is what you make it. You know That's what I'm right. saying? It's a unique experience. If you want to change, <clears throat> excuse me, you want to change your last name, I mean, yeah. why not? Now, I was in an all-black bike club. That sound cool. That was fun. Bike club here sound cool. They well, said all-black. Like I say this, I was in a sister club, the mm-hmm. SUV side. I wasn't in the bike side. People be loved when I say that shit, that you wasn't in no bike club. <laughs> Motherfucker, I was family, God damn okay. it. That's all that mattered. No, it was fun, man. I uh, I got to give back to the community. I got to see a different side of Augusta. I got to see a different side of myself. True. Uh, uh, Just a learning experience. Sound like man, the hardest a part about it. Experience. I think the hardest part about it was uh, earning respect through the principles of the game in that in that world. Mm-hmm. You know, I didn't just get to talk to any person. I couldn't just talk to anybody because I'm white. True, true. So I had to earn certain conversations and certain, like I got one memory. We're not gonna say who, what not. Mm-hmm. We in Augusta. We on bike night. Okay. All right. It's around my birthday, something. What? Yeah, yeah. I've been trying to not trying to like be a part of anything, but just get to know some other club members of other. Yeah, other backgrounds. Yeah, 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 yeah. Building rapport. You know, just get to know motherfuckers. Being a part of the actual yeah. world, right? For sure. For sure. And uh, so anyhow. I'm fucking, I got tested. It's my birthday. We at bike night. This motherfucker sends his property of over to me. She takes me to the dance floor, puts the chair on the dance floor, sets me in the chair, and get, begins to give me a lap dance, like, you know, it, it, outside of a strip club. The okay. craziest I've ever had, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, if I would have, I could have licked a pussy. That's okay. how close it was. Okay. Like, I, it smelled delicious. <laughs> it smelled delicious? Yeah. And, right. and, you know... I almost broke the chair because <laughs> I couldn't touch her. And I okay. knew that, you know, mm-hmm. you know, it's not my property. It's his, you know what I'm saying? But that choice gained respect. True. It was and, and you look back on it and I look back at that, that, that time and those memories, and man, you, you don't know what man's a great man till you really sit down and dive into him. Yeah. Fact. You really don't. And then it's like small little tests like that to really show you the true character of a man. Yeah. So you really don't know anybody unless they've been battle tested. Yeah. Well, see, one of my one of my biggest. Uh, this sounds cheesy, but Martin Luther King is one of my favorite. Uh, if I could talk to anyone dead, it would be Martin Luther King, That's and dope. it would only be the simple fact of, even though all the controversy or whatever people say or whatnot, you still manage to raise great kids. Facts. Go and do what you wanted to do. You be a part of an activist. You mm-hmm. were you were changing things. You was being so active in everything, and still manage your household to make your kids be mature and grow up to be successful. Fact. That to me is the most important thing that's when dope. it comes. As a man. Like that's this, the legacy. That's like the blueprint of a man, period, though. Yeah. Like, every man should want said qualities. You know what I'm saying? Should. Should. Like, come on now. Everything you just name is very noble. Yeah. Well, I want to. I put this right here. The okay. ultimate measure of a man is not where he stands in moments of comfort and convenience, but where he stands in challenge of controversy. Yeah. That's Martin Luther King. Yeah. And, and, and you couldn't say it no better if you want to be better. Facts. And then he said it very articulate. He, he, uh-huh. you know, he, he could have said it differently. Shout out to Martin Luther King. And it is yeah. Black History Month. It is. That it is. <laughs> Happy Black History Month, everybody. For sure. For shit show. Now, how you celebrate Black History Month? To me, 
Black History Month and holidays, period, I don't really, like, I don't really get into them. I just, uh, like, I try to brush up on Martin Luther King, you know, all of that type of stuff all year round. You know what I'm saying? So, Black History Month, I, I mean, I mess with it. Now. It's a, it's, it's positive. But, however, when I dive deep into it and the celebration of it and all that, it's really just for a certain group of people to get paid. Yeah, it's cheap way out. And it 28 don't, days yeah, and all that bullshit. Exactly. That's yeah. why I don't even really... I don't really get into it. Yeah. Like Christmas, I don't really get into it. Valentine's Day, don't really get. I don't really get into holidays. Yeah. I appreciate people when I can and while I can. Yeah. And that's dead, alive, whatever. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I'm not a holiday person. I think that the holidays are good to like recognize. Yeah. Like Martin Luther King, for instance, I think it is great that there is a moment Facts. to recognize now that black I culture. Love. I love that. The fact that it's February mm-hmm. already shows me it was the wrong intent. But yeah. the fact that it's there is, I think, is a good thing. Mm-hmm. And um, I, I agree with you too. I I don't I don't celebrate Christmas. I don't want to. Me I have either. to because yeah. my family. But if it's Santa Claus, don't that's the one thing in law of my house. Santa Claus does not come to my house at all. Nah, I don't live in houses with no chimneys. So yeah. you right. fit, he ain't fitting through the front door. You get what I'm saying? Like yeah. when it come to logic, I've been stopped believing in that. Yeah, I let my kids believe in it though. I like try not more to. or less. Like if they in school, they come home right, and they talking about um, you know, we coloring Santa Claus this that and the third. Okay, cool. I'm gonna let that go. But what I ain't going to have y'all doing is, is teaching my kid about a fake imaginary person. Like, yeah. I can't do that. I can't do yeah. that. As long as my kid don't ask me directly, then I'm going to let them dwell in that imagination as a yeah. kid. You know what I'm saying? So, now, uh, where where your kids go to school at? Um, Lamar Millage. Right. Downtown. Well, we ain't got it. I mean, I ain't trying to throw it on the bus or nothing. But no, they're cool. in Augusta, right? They're yeah, in Augusta. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm over here in South Carolina with mine, right? In, in uh, Belvedere. Yeah. Um. Do they enforce any sort of religion, or not enforce, but like instigate? The answer or is yes. They do. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yeah. And they almost pissed me off one time. Did it? Because my 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 daughter came back saying certain stuff, and I was like, okay, I know I ain't teach you that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like no, and she kept going on. Like she was joyful with it, but however, you she's too young to even. What we in school talking about that for? Yeah. That's my opinion of the whole thing. Like yeah. you're in school to learn your numbers, alphabets, words, you know, uh, history. You ain't here talking about religion. Yeah. Come on, man. Like I was gonna, I was gonna go complain about it, but I ain't even that kind of person to even want all that smoke and mirrors. They they set something up over here with it and try to do an after school program. Mm. And uh, I sent my little girl two or three times, only because she wanted to. Now me personally, I. I don't know how I'm supposed to describe myself because mm-hmm. I read the Quran and I feel like that the principles the Quran sets is what I kind of lead my life with. Mm-hmm. But I ain't gonna say I'm a Muslim. Right. I would say right. that I, I you I believe have, in certain. I have faith in Allah. Mm-hmm. I have faith in there is a higher God that is not represented other than a God, and that's pretty much a good structure of the Quran mm-hmm. uh, in simplest form. So when she come to me talking about Jesus and all these things and stuff, yeah. I asked her if she really wanted to talk about it because I can't talk about it with her unless I can be honest. And I know that if she can't comprehend it yet, I back, I just try to manipulate. That's what like, I was saying. Like, I, I try yeah. to use it to my like Santa Claus. She knows Santa Claus don't come here. Right. She don't know Santa Claus ain't real to her own choosing until that happened, and right. it already has. But she never, it never changed anything. The fact that Santa Claus didn't come to her house and came to her friend's house didn't change her feelings on Christmas. Right. As long as she got some, she was yeah, good. Yeah, it was good. So <laughs> you know, and, and the religious thing to me is crazy because I feel like uh, when a person is placed in an education position, they're there to give the best, right? Right. Us as fathers or mothers with struggle, you you you've learned your faith based on what you went through. Right. So that faith is more pure than someone trying to give just positive faith. That right. makes sense. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. To like me. like they just hyping up what they feel like is positive for the kids more mm-hmm. than it is religion or faith. You know right. what I'm saying? And and I don't agree with it because I feel like every man and every every woman and kids, everybody should follow their own lane to figure out how they going to connect with some higher being. Yeah, yeah. Every individual chooses their own path. Like, even with religion, right? Okay, one thing we all know for sure is there is somebody who created all. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Some people might call him Jesus. Some people might, you know what I'm saying? Blah, blah, blah. That's fine. Just find your own way. Your own way. You feel what I'm saying? I just, I try not to get caught into all that, bro. Like, I believe in the universe. Like, if you ever hear me praying or whatever like that, meditating, et cetera, et cetera. 
it's to the universe, the highest power. And that's yeah. what I believe in. So yeah. I can't really get, I don't really don't even like to get into the individualness of it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I haven't studied the Quran. I, I, I've, I, I've looked into it. You I know argue what I'm like a motherfucker with it. I might not win, but yeah. I argue like a motherfucker about it. But I, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, it's just, it's, it's just, the, it's so different. When you, I went served a lot of juvie, and I I learned some uh, um, uh, some Hebrew and aspects of their their Bible and whatnot yep. here and there. Talk with people in there about it, and that's where I learned about Muslims or whatever. But uh, yeah, from reading some of the Holy Bible when I was younger to having these experiences with Jewish people, and then yep. to read the Quran. Mm -hmm. Oh man, yeah, I got a lot I could say. I know it puts you in like a very confusing situation, like mentally, just because you done went through or bounced through so much knowledge. You well, know what I, I'm saying? I think it does, but I think. <laughs> It also how serious you take it. That too. Because I can, I mean, it's at the it's at top of here. It's going to always be above any other book. And I'm going to give the respect because I feel like I am connected to that religion the best. Right, right. But at the same hand, I don't feel, I don't meet a lot of these criterias. I'm not, you know, that I can't sit here and judge women certain ways. And there are certain things about the women. Like, for instance, I got a baby mama. Right. I protect and provide as much as I feel is fair, not what I think is right, mm -hmm. but what I think is fair for my baby mama and my household. It ain't no cut off because we split, no child support. Like I'm in a situation where these these principles I have is, it, to me it feels so important that I have to take care, even not just say money. Yeah. We talking about she had rough day and she done blew a gorge at the kids. She can't handle it. Yeah, yeah I got to deal with my daughter, yeah. but I still need to make sure she moves forward and realizes what she did wrong or what she can do to improve and how we can co-parent better. Yeah, I give my all. To, like I principles hard, man, and that's <laughs> one thing that kept me to how, how if you invest in your kids, yeah, it it, it gives life to them, yeah. but at the same time, I feel like. Is wrong investments, and I'm 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 gonna scratch this right here, and I'm gonna transition real quick because that might be something for later. Cool, uh, cool, um, cool. Let me do this first. Like I told you, I'm on, I'm yeah. on, I'm on the, the video yeah, right now. We're gonna do the intro, even though it's halfway. Some through it, that's good. Oh, um, shoot. we just been going. Now you know Brody. Yeah, for sure. Right, that's my triplet. Time right. three elements. So I, I got to give him a shout out too. I uh, well, he's in the intro. He, his uh, his uh, um. I his got, visual thing he just did? Mm -mm, Mr. Oh. Chevy. Oh, Chevy. He, what you don't know is me and him got another version to that song. Another one? Oh, man, I love that song. Yeah. I love it. I yeah, love it. Yeah, Me and him got a remix to that song. That's my triplet, man. I just had his house like three nights ago. Chilling, vibing, drinking. I, I be trying to get him over here. <laughs> he um, he had done mess his car up. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. You, you, ain't, you can talk. It don't matter. Okay, cool. Now, I was trying to see where it was coming from. <laughs> So this is just me for for editing purposes. We uh we can do whatever. It'll be kind of toned down for this to play over it, cause I got it stored. So that's where I know, mm -hmm. you know, we starting off and whatnot. So then it'll stop, and then I'll do the Pallet Podcast intro. But yeah, I ain't got no hand. Yeah, they hit me up last night. I posted the uh, the Bob Marley promo. Yeah, and um, I got the, I got Bart Simpson. I don't got yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had Bart Simpson in the background, and I think I had 45 seconds. Them motherfuckers talking about it's. I gotta get permission and shit. Yeah, because it, it, it's, it's a certain amount of seconds that um. But I don't get it. If if I know I'm cleared, because yeah. I don't got cleared by by Bobby. Yeah. So how do I clear it through Facebook? A, I don't lot, get a that. lot of different stupid ass steps, bro. They they still say the same shit to me with my own music. Yeah. It don't make no. I don't right. understand That's it. Why I don't understand it. They trying to make everything so technical to the point where we won't understand it. Yeah, I agree there. Fuck, I and agree. And that's there. retarded. Like yeah. to me, I don't, I'm, that's why I stay out the way. Like you feel what I'm saying? If I don't understand it and I can't fathom it, oh, I just it, see that out the way game. Yeah, okay, way show game. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Before you leave, we'll get you to show it to the camera a little closer in the oh, back yeah, too. Out the way game. We got the press on and we got the vinyl. I mean, not the uh, not the vinyl, the um embroidery. But, you know, you got to pay to play. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, This ain't meant for everybody to wear. So, if you see somebody with this on, they're somebody. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. They're a positive being that stay out the way. Out the way, gang. That's what's up. G-A-N-G stands for going against negative genres. And, I, and that was like a music thing. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Now, look. I, say, 
What's up, guys? Welcome to Pallet Podcast with Tommy Archer. I'm sitting in with Lock Life BJ. Lock Life. How y'all doing today? I hope y'all like, comment, share, whatever you want to do. I really don't care. I'm going to keep doing this. <laughs> but y'all better share it, though. Hey, you, you know if what I'm you saying? do, much appreciated. If much I come appreciated. through and I bless, y'all come on now. Share the support. Now, look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull this. I'm going to try to find this real quick. You know who Slim is? Slim. Uh, uh, he's a podcaster around Augusta. I haven't met him yet. Um, I don't believe so. But Slim, if you watch this, and I do know you, I just ain't get a good description. You know what I'm saying? I, I I don't. I mean, all I know is he's Jermaine's friend, and they podcasters. Jermaine is more than a master. Jermaine's I know who he than, is. Yeah, more yeah. than a master podcast. So he sits down with him. Now I watched. Uh, uh, oh man, it's um, fuck. Now I'm still learning podcast <laughs> names, guys. So bear with me. It's all good. Uh, all ready right. to be accountable. Yeah, my boy Rocket, him. Rocket. That's who you talking right. about. So, see, Rocket, that, bro, Rocket, bro. So he should have said Rocket. <laughs> bro, I'm sorry, I'm still, I'm new to it with the circle, whatnot. Because his name Rocket Slim. Now I'm gonna play what Rocket <laughs> said. Now, pause that. I done recorded it. My, see, even though they give you crack if you need it uh, through the government, <laughs> make sure that you take the crack properly because Adderall is not meant for everybody. It really ain't. Uh, I knew I had this recorded, y'all, and I'm sitting here trying to find it a different way. It's all good. Y'all stay tuned. Uh, and while y'all waiting, y'all going to check out them videos on YouTube by Lot Life BJ. You feel what I'm saying? Type in just Lot Life BJ, Lot Life space B W E J A Y. You might like what you find. You feel me? You might love it, but you definitely ain't going to dislike it. So, now I know you all, you a father. It said you was a comedian on your on your Facebook. Yeah, now, you got man. a joke or two you could tell me? Um, see, I ain't really that that type of comedian. I'm more I'm more so of like a DC on fly type of comedian. Just like, on the fly, yeah, ripping it. I got I you in, in the moment. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, because of my upbringing, like we 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 roast, we jive, we five people yeah. up, like yeah. that type of comedian. You know what I'm you. saying? But I can't just sit here and hit you with a knock knock joke and make you just be on the floor. Yeah. Like I can't do that. I'm probably the only white dude that mm -hmm. you'll know that they family fuck goats. Yeah, 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 the only one. Yeah. But you a rapper one. too? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. A digital creator and yeah. a hustler. Yeah, for sure. I'm telling you, man. Sure. I see. I see. It. I may not. I'm still trying to dive into mm. the Augusta rap game. Man, it's hard for a pimp. It's everybody out here. I'm, I mean, <laughs> it seemed like from what I've been looking into it and doing my research, there's a lot out here. A lot of rappers trying to be rappers, want to be rappers. Um, we gonna. I'm gonna look at the camera for this one. Yeah, you say what you want to. I'm, I'm finna pull a Jay Z, man. That's fine. That's fine. You seen the Grammys? The, the other little thing with Jeezy? I mean, not Jeezy. No, 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 no. Hold up, no, hold up, Jay Z. I, all I know is that 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 was a stunt with fucking Killer Mike. Yeah, that too, that's man. A yeah, stunt. man. Shout out to Killer Mike, man. Yeah. Shout out to Killer Mike because I actually love that album. It's called Michael, and it's on Apple. It's on everything. Y'all go check it out. Everybody who said he shouldn't have won, go check out the whole album. I disagree too. I think he go I, check out I, the I, whole I think, album. All the albums I heard last year, yeah. they damn sure the best one. He he definitely like it was, it's a couple people that dropped last year. I dropped last year. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, go look, <laughs> look up that too. <laughs> a lot like BJ man on Apple Music. But anyway, I'm gonna pull a Jay Z right quick. As far as like the Augusta rap scene, how you were just saying, bro. If some of y'all with these awards that's going on or whatever like that, shout out to my boy Jay Paul. Shout out to whoever do SBA. You know what I'm saying? But however, y'all not really doing no research, bro. It's one thing to let people vote for whoever, right? And it's a whole nother thing to give it to somebody who deserve it. You yeah. digging what I'm saying? So that's what Jay-Z said in the Grammys because Beyonce got the most Grammys but never won album of the year. Which is wild. Which is crazy. That, like I, the the mapping ain't mapping. Well, to me, I I didn't really get into the Grammys and none of this stuff. I've never really like watched it and really got into knowing what's going on. But I would assume there should be stages. Yeah. You shouldn't be able to get this if you ain't got it, that. I, I totally agree. I, that's totally agree. It's a weird thing, man. But that's because, all. But white music folks. done music done got weird though, man. Like it's really about I won't even say popularity, but it's damn near something like that. You know what Probably I'm saying? If you're not seen as much or whatever like that, then people are really not really paying you no attention. And you might have the best product available. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and they know you have the best product they available. They don't see it. But they're going to give it to somebody else who they see more often. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? And and that's crazy to me. In the in the cracker lands, I call that the <laughs> buddy system. Hey, yeah. That's what, that's what I, I call it out at work all the time in corporate environments. Mm -hmm. The buddy, good old boy system. I'm the buddy you. system. And ain't nothing wrong with that, though, because... I see a lot of folk working, bro. I'm not hating on nobody. I'm not throwing salt on nobody. You feeling what I'm saying? I'm just speaking of how the Augusta scene works. Yeah. It's way too oversaturated with people who ain't even paid dues. And by paid dues, I mean you ain't been rapping long enough. You ain't even rapping about nothing for real. You get what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. it, it don't even really make sense. 
Well, let me ask you this now. I, this is I, I do. I perform comedy true icons. I try to hit up Pedal Pub when I can. Yeah. I try to go uh, Sultry Sounds. Uh, they hopefully they got something new coming on. I mm -hmm. think they got something coming up. Uh, a lot of spoken word stuff. Yeah. Where are the rappers at? That's what I want to know. You I've mean seen, like in the clubs? No, I've just seen like okay, like for me as a comedian, I have to go get repetition. Yeah, I can go write the joke mm -hmm. and put it in the book. Mm -hmm. or, 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 or say it by myself or say it in my group. Mm -hmm. But you, I don't know if it's great until I go work it. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, that So, right like, there. where they at? I don't see no rappers putting in every opportunity they can sometimes to make opportunities to, to maximize. Perform. Maximize. Yeah, maximize, yeah, maximize yeah, yeah. is the word. I yeah, get what yeah. you mean. The reason y'all don't see me in the clubs like that, because I really don't make club music. But the ones who do make club music, he's absolutely right. Where y'all at? Why y'all yeah. not really, you know what I'm saying, on these clubs ass for real for real yeah i mean go, i think i think i think the rappers play a big role for us too as comedians and performers of spoken word right the more, everybody scratch each other back yeah like that's how it's backs. supposed to be yep. like shout out to my uh comedian ej rogers if y'all yep. know who that shout is out rogers tuesday my, nights at icon 7 30 open mic eight o'clock is cookie put a foot in the ass it's there with ej rogers yes Amen. sir i'm go telling ahead. you man shout out to my boy he been working real real hard and he been working for a while and i'm glad that he getting his flowers now yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, because, boy, you're funny. You know you're what I'm saying? Fuck now. I ain't going to say you hit it out the park every time, but damn near, my boy. Keep hey, when doing he it. fell out that damn, mm -hmm. when he jumped off that second story. In that yeah, and the old lady came out? Man, had me motherfucking weak, bro. Hey. Keep doing you. But to you artists who make this club music, bro, come out, pop out. The crowd going to tell you whether they fucking with it or not. Right. And if y'all don't get the reaction that you want, Stop performing it. Go back to the lab. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Everybody want to be popping immediately. Yeah. And those be the wrong ones, though, because they don't even know if their music is good or not. Yeah. It hasn't been tested. Yeah. That's, well, that's what I think like, <laughs> the hard part is. You got to, and at the same hand, not even just tested. You got to know if you need to be better. And yeah. If you go to the club and you there mm -hmm. and you go up and you are having an off night or let's say you working on a new song yeah. and you see Brody perform yeah. a new song first yeah. and Brody kills it. Mm -hmm. Well, you're going to say, oh, man, I might need to change up some verses. I might need to punch. Yeah. Yeah. You're looking at yourself for improvements, not mm -hmm. necessarily as co competition, but it's iron for iron, man. Yeah, you got to go sure. out there and work it. For sure. Same thing with comedians, right? You yeah, feel what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's It's... It's all supposed to be a collective, but it's supposed to be like friendly competition. Yeah. Because everybody's supposed to sharpen everybody. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But however, y'all be skipping steps, man. That's the whole moral of this. Some of y'all be skipping steps, bro. Well, I think another thing, too, is I wish I had more mentors. How, how am I supposed to? I wish to, I had a mentor. Yeah. I, how period. am I supposed to know certain steps? I got to wait till I figure out, oh, I should have done this. Yeah. Months ago. Yeah. <laughs> That's another thing that I get that everybody goes through. Yeah. But you got to network and you got to reach out to people and put your foot forward. Facts. You got to. And speaking of that, shout out to J.R. King down there. Oh, yeah. Melodies oh, yeah, and Flow. Yeah, Melodies and Flow, man. Shout out to Melodies and Flow, man. 125 Blythe. Yeah, I'm yeah. telling you, I learned that when I was up there with them. They wouldn't let me forget it. <laughs> yeah. But very positive people, man. Very great people. Very humble people. Um, him, his old lady, Angie Corn. I'm sorry I forgot your name. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, all of y'all cool. I advise everybody who really be on the kind of music I be on, stuff like that, poets and stuff like that, hit up Melodies and Flow at 125. Well, 125 no, Blythe Multimedia Complex. Yeah, Studio 125 Multimedia Complex yeah. down there in Blythe, Georgia. JR the King. Yes, you sir. the man. Yes, Shout sir. out to you. It's every Tuesday. Don't. I think it drops every two. Don't quote me, but it's go check it out. Melodies and flow. A yeah, certain time may be different timing and different days for certain episodes. Yeah. But either way, check out Melodies and Flow, y'all. Yeah. For real, for real. I got my own episode. I don't remember which episode it was because I be trying to do some, so much shit. And I got mental issues. So it's on there, though. On my Facebook, Twitter. Got down what that shit called? TikTok. It's TikTok. on everything. Instagram. It's on everything, bro. Get out there and look up the good dopeness, man. Hey. Well, look, I'm gonna transition with this. I'm gonna go back to uh to Rocket and Slim. Are you a monster? Do you think you got the guts to come and rumble in the jungle? Huh? Train Fit Strength and Athletics is hosting a powerlifting competition. They ready to get down. I know they some monsters ready to come. And when they coming to, they come in at 6:45. Northwest Frontage Road, Augusta, Georgia. That's at 
Juggernaut Fitness because they got some juggernauts ready to put in this power. You got three, three lifts to complete. You got deadlift. You got to get it off the ground. You hear me? You got to put it all in the back. Right? And the back? Yeah, I think it's the back. No, you use your legs. Don't play with me. I know a little bit just because I'm small. Okay? You also got the bench press. You got to get them boobies moving. Now, I got a little bone right here. I get nervous when I do it. It might hurt a little bit. But if I did, if your boy at 150 pounds put 350 on the bar, I'm in that sucker to win. Then you got the squats. Okay? Your third one is your squats. And you better stretch right. We want you safe. We want to make sure you're prepared. And you got to give you all. Because all three of these lifts, them total weight is important. You got division separating the competition by age and weight. Okay? I don't know what to tell you. You got to come join the Rumble in the Jungle. Okay? At Juggernaut Fitness, hosted by Coach Carter and Train Fit Strength and Athletics. At 645 Northwest Frontage Road, Augusta, Georgia. When is it? Saturday, April 20th. Y'all come check them out. I feel like that was pretty good. One more. Oh, I see you heard through the motions. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have. That's I, I just, I, uh, I ain't had time to get to it yet. I'm going to go through your songs and stuff at the end and then let you do, when you do the pl plug music, events, and socials again at the okay. end for you. That's what I'm going to do, uh, the songs. Because those are just the only three that I've listened to repeatedly. I'm not okay. going to sit here. Ain't nothing wrong with that, bro. I ain't going to sit it's here the, and try it's to the be authentic. That way. You authentic, bro. And I wouldn't. If you was to lie, I immediately ask you a question. You get what I'm like, saying? My favorite is Book of Life. That, but that's an album. Well, I'm saying what album. Book of Life is an album. Well, what song is the video of? Because that's the. Oh, you talking about. I um, thought that was the song. Role Models. Role Models. Yeah, name that's the song. It, then. The album is Book Role of Life. Models is the song then that I need to write down. That's the song that I fucking. When I had the purple jacket on, yeah, and, all and that you're shit. sitting across in the, in from the my little brother, yeah, 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 yeah. That song's hard as fuck. Now I like that. Mm -hmm. like, I even got my um shout out to Tim. You know what I'm saying? He he, my, as is is his rap name, but yeah, he he my white boy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got an Asian brother too. Like I was yeah. a Taiwanese brother. I got a fucking um that shit called man. I just got I don't discriminate. You dig nah, what I'm can't, saying? Man, you can't man. They never know what what somebody gonna teach you, give you. What gems you gonna get from somebody? What you gonna learn that you? I mean, it's so much. I, I peep hear. spirits type shit. Yeah. Like I ain't really, I can really care about what you have to give me, what you have to give yourself, what you pull up in, yeah. how much money you have. I could really give a fuck less. Well, that's just me. You saying that to this? Uh, uh, so that's Rocket to the left, right? Yeah, that's yeah. Rocket. Yeah. So Rocket has got some points on a gangster. Now yeah. I've always had. Uh, opinion about what a gangster is. Right. I don't think a gangster has to come from the hood. I don't think a gangster's got to be any race. No. Nah. You know, so I'm going to let him speak first and then we can talk about it. Back. It's kind of a little bit extra in the front, I think. It's all good. Let me get. I had, to, I had to wait till she get off work to use the internet. <laughs> Like down towards the bottom. It's almost like uh, I don't drink. Okay, almost cool. like what Florida like down I might drink a like glass. That. I ain't gonna drink like that. Hell no. Oh, it's just four days old, man. Yeah, yeah. What, I barely like, been drinking. Right so my brother down, passed, man. Like right it's crazy. Sit me down I barely do anything. That right next to you. That's what I call my baby mama, the Bud Light, mm. cause she was cheap, wet, and available. So once I realized my mistake, I gave on up. But like, well, I'm gonna spit my little Hennessy out. <laughs> boy. Ooh, That's what? fucked up. I love you, uh, Carolina, and your mama <laughs> is great. She's still fantastic. It's just a joke, Kristen. Don't take it serious. But Bud Light is delicious, so take it as a compliment, if anything. To each his own. Right, to each his own, <laughs> man. To each his own. Uh, I respect authentic. Like, I, I perceive gangster as, like, the white boy who not scared to be white and got there. He like the game. That's what he do. You know what I'm saying? He stay out the way. He don't try to got there and try, try to put on the drip when I come around or Try to talk about street shit when I come around, just cause, like, no, nah, nigga, be yourself. I I view that as gangster. Yeah, I don't view this puss ass shit as gangster, bro. <laughs> right. That's yeah. some puss ass shit. And yeah, nigga, just because you got the money to do so, nigga, if yo gangster, like, if you try, so that's so that's the point I wanted. To definitely, try. definitely, hey. one thousand percent agree. Now, I'm gonna say this. 
I'm not trying to be the white boy that he's referring to or hmm. make that a point. I'm yeah. only saying that I've always perceived a gangster as someone that has their vision, knows what they want, knows what they protecting, knows what they providing, and they doing what they're supposed to be doing. Period. Facts. Simplest forms. Facts. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. I been I was blessed. I never I've been in, I've been a juvie. I've met some people that you know rough crimes yada yada. Yeah. I've been in I certain been in jail a couple areas times. and whatnot, and I done been the only white dude out of fucking six hundred people. Mm -hmm. So I understand situations, but man, I could not. I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't perceive myself something differently. And I think that when when it comes to, I'm relating this back to my kids here. Right. When it comes to me showing my kids, my daughter knows mm -hmm. about my past. Yeah, for sure. So I'm How not, old is you? Well, she 11. No. Okay, no cool. I'm about to say, I ain't want to do that on here. She 11. Uh, I got arrested a couple years ago for graffiti, mm -hmm. and it tore apart. That I had to I had to make her feel comfortable because I was comfortable. Yeah. yeah three yeah. days, you know. No big deal. It, it, for me, mm -hmm. it was my, you know, I cut off at Juvie, and it's kind of a new thing going at County, but it was the same shit for me. Yeah, same pretty much. Shit. And um, not to like hype no credit or nothing. Nah. But stay out of jail. Stay out of juvie. Don't go to jail. Stay out the way. Yeah. I swear to God. Stay out the way. Way better. Way better results. You ain't nothing. It ain't nothing yours. You just sitting there. And just ain't waiting fun. on time. It ain't fun either. No. <laughs> but I, I do take that credit though, is that I took these struggles on and moved past them. And I have to get her to see that and show her my gangster. Right. Because it ain't about I went to jail. It's about Look, I wanted to do something creative, and I took that risk, mm -hmm. and I fucking I went to jail for it. Fact. I made the wrong choice, and I got to own it. And you learned from it, and you learned from it. You nah, get what I'd, I'm saying? I'd go finish it if I could. Yeah, but you want, but you would definitely try not to get caught. No, nah, I, I don't get fucked by getting caught. So <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's that's bad. Let me then. Take this that's now. bad. <laughs> so I like to do women's names. Okay. Now I'm gonna say the honesty. Most of the women's names I did, I done bagged and tagged. Okay. Okay. So. I got arrested with mm -hmm. one of the hoes I was with and while I was doing her name. Mm -hmm. I ain't finish it. I ran out of paint. And I've been, I'm an artist. Now, you see, I got my little octopus. I got Buku's art put up in totes. Okay, okay. I'm itching still to this day to, just to finish it. There I got ain't no connection I got, I got to the hoe. I got to check some out too. I got no connection to the hoe no more. But yeah. if I do down there, my wife going to kill me. Fuck oh, yeah. going to jail. Yeah. She going to kill me That's if worse I than going that to jail. Name. Hell no. That's worse than going to jail. Like, shit. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. But what do, you, what do you think on the whole gangster stuff when it comes to, like, okay, I think that rappers have to perceive themselves a certain way sometimes. Not rappers saying, think they have to perceive yeah, themselves That's a better way. I'm not a rapper, not a rapper like, so I don't know. But They think they do. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? Like, Killer Mike just won three Grammys. Yeah, he's not talking about killing or he. Ain't, mm -hmm. you, you you get what I'm saying? And he won three Grammys. If I remember the album correctly, I think majority of it was about community. Yeah, think, and and, and, you, and uniting and all that type of stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like rapping about what he' supposed to be rapping about. Yeah, me, I'm in a certain kind of thing, but it's like I don't. He knows way more than me. I ain't gonna sit here and try that. Like I'm him. Or I'm a scholar or no shit like that. Yeah. But however, you can be yourself. More of the story. And rap about your story, your knowledge, what you retain in here, and you can be perfectly fine. That's yeah. gangster. Like how he was saying about a white boy being a white boy, not trying to act like this or that because you were around a certain person or people. Mm -hmm. That's gangster. Yeah. Knowing who you are, that's gangster. See, I I, I felt that mm. in the club. Man. What he said about the white dude, like yeah. that, that's how I felt in the club because I didn't have. I don't mind picking up trash. What's my what duties I got to do to earn these goddamn colors? Yeah, I want this shit on my back. That's my goal. I don't mm -hmm. give a fuck about providing no other extra flaunting. I right, mean, right. Yeah, but now my, my my me asking about the rapper thing. Let me keep going. Go ahead, go thought ahead, go ahead. How do you think, as a rapper, as a father, how challenging is that to maintain what you perceive your kids to learn and how to grow versus what you're growing through and how you're navigating those. Uh, presenting an emotion in that song and then not taking that home or going to an environment where you having conflict with someone because of beef or whatever situation and you got to separate yourself from that thought. How you bring that home and deal with all those factors when it comes to your craft? Because I know that's got to be stressful sometimes to be all in your emotions in these, some of these songs and then I'm sure that moments happen off the rip with the kids right after it Yeah, or something. yeah, yeah. That's got to be challenging. But... I use music as like an outlet, really, right? You know what I'm saying? My kids, they, they know my songs. They sing, they, they sing my songs. You know, it's a beautiful thing, whatever, whatever. But however, they don't know the seriousness of the songs. Right. 
because they're not old enough yet. Yeah. But I got an album I dropped too called Therapy. That's what um a lot of these. That's what losing my mind. That little shit I mean, my, yeah, that, that's where that come that come from. But the whole album is like literally, I need therapy, and I know yeah. I do. Yeah. But however, I use music as therapy. Yeah. Or a journal. You know what I'm saying? So un, so until my journal is closed, it, it is gonna always be another page. Yeah. And I use their names in a lot of my music that I haven't released yet, you know, because I want to make sure they're old enough to know that I'm rapping about them too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that's my truth. That's gangster. You yeah. getting what I'm saying? Yeah. And I still get positive feedback. That's gangster. But y'all better not play with me. That's gangster. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. <laughs> it's a hard, it's a delicate balance, bro. It's a delicate balance. And it's confusing every day. Do you feel like you ever. Do you feel like anything ever takes away from your ability to be a father? Because I know I do. I have, I have, uh, I have a chat. I'm, I'm GED certified. I have a, I have a tough situation where I don't really give a fuck about school. And now that I got a little girl, and I'm trying to see, you got to show is, them that she should. I'm trying, but I still am lacking in this area, and I'm not no teacher. So, uh, one of my main, or not main, one of my big issues that I, I feel bad for is I get frustrated quick. And With it, the homework and all yeah, that, I get yeah, because I I want I shouldn't because I don't give a fuck because mm-hmm. I don't think you need to have a college degree to to win right, but you got to be able to work if you're not going to do that, and if you ain't willing to do the work too, well then now I got the issue, so I get frustrated behind that, and it's a real challenge and growth between me and my daughter. Do you yeah, have any moments like that? With I your definitely kid? do. Yeah, shout out to Otis, Tisha. You know you know I'm talking to you, but that's my old lady though. You know what I'm saying? Woo, woo. but. She helps my kids with their homework most of the time because she has way more patience. Yeah. You know, like me as a grown man and being through what I've been through and, you know what I'm saying, all that type of stuff, it frustrates the fuck out of me. Yeah. And then the schoolwork is not the schoolwork that I was seeing anyway. Like, yeah, it, it's the same work, work, right? Yeah. But they'll... Okay, I seen this shit on, on, on social media the other day. It was like, uh, put... Certain amount of tens on a certain amount of it was like blocks and shit. Yeah, the block method. Shit. Yeah, 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 but yeah. but it, they they measure it different now. It's all reconfigured, man. right? So with that being said, that's frustrating because my answer is different than what they're teaching. And now. they hear us like, "What the fuck you talking about? How how you get this?" But it, but it makes sense to us in the way we were taught. And but now, how you gonna send homework back? And you're teaching my child a different way. Yeah. So what does that make the parent look like? It makes it challenging for us. So you can't tell me that's not frustrating. Man. You feel what and I'm then, saying? And then they got all these virtual schools too where they expecting us to That's the I say that right now. I don't agree. America, mm-hmm. I do not agree. Y'all need to keep y'all's kids in public school, god yeah. damn it. Let yeah. them have some struggle cuz if they at the house eating takis and fucking fried They never know how to interact with other people. Shit. They won't know how to interact with no. other people because they're not around other people. You know what I'm saying? Different races, different uh, uh, capabilities, disabilities, yeah, all of that. Like you gotta know how to treat all walks of life. You can't th- get that at home. Yeah, well, I think if they keep, we keep going in this route of of kids, just I think I think there is a comfortable medium where we don't understand this era necessarily. Because I know we the I same damn age. So don't we was outside, we was doing shit, riding you know, bikes, so. all that. Man, y'all don't even ride bikes no more, bro. Nope. Like I ain't seen a, a young group of kids on a bike in a minute. In a long while, everybody always texting in their phone. Like we wasn't, we would, we saw technology. I was gone. We saw technology though. Like we went from Game Boys, the black and gray ones, and all that to SPs and so what? So PSPs. did you have? So you had technology the whole time? Me? No, yeah. I'm saying no. we saw it evolve. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. we. That's what I'm saying. We yeah. came from no technology. We, we came from none. none. Like not yeah. for real. That's right. Not for real. Yeah. For real, <laughs> man. Look, if you come from the struggle. We knew about all this shit, but we yeah. didn't have it. Yeah. You probably knew somebody who had good parents who who they had it. Yeah, who could afford you know, it. Yeah, stuff like that. Yeah. But still, we saw it evolve. The first yeah. phones, well, some of the first phones. Yeah, we sound old right now, but look. What was your first phone? Was it a Nokia block? I had one. Yeah. I had one. I don't remember my exact first one because it was like a bullshit Motorola flip shit. Oh, you had a flip first? Yeah, oh, okay. it was like a little bullshit. But I was in like sixth grade. I had that Virgin Mobile. Virgin Mobile was cool yeah, too though. Like yeah. any any phone back then was cool because you had a phone. No, that's not true. That's Man. not true. I'm gonna tell you what, I'm, what phone was it. Verizon and AT and T because you got free after nine o'clock and weekends. But that was the shit though. Back but then. that that was the two that was the one. That back was then, the though. shit. That was them two. Was it? I was with T Mobile. I was with Suncom. 
I you don't even remember. I remember. I, remember him. I didn't have one. Like, oh my god, Google Suncom. <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> we used to have to. I used to have to go mm. to the gas station to get a receipt for time for my phone, mm. and you would pay what? I think it was twenty five for media, and you had ten cents for each text. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know how. Mm. Man, don't even get us yeah. started, bro. It's ten crazy, cent man. a text. Uh, some of y'all text all day. Imagine how much money that's gonna be, bro. Man. Shit, they wouldn't even have enough chores to do around the house. At all. None. At all. Fuck that phone. Now you, you got to sell the phone to pay the bill. Damn right. You're going to get rid of that <laughs> shit. I'm cu- I cu- I, until my daughter shows me some sort of like responsibility in holding herself respectfully, right. that's when I'm going to engage in the phone. For yeah. instance, even this small of a petty shit, I feel like this is a good point to make here. That we just moved over here about a couple months ago. We just bought this house. Mm-hmm. Uh I would say right before December or right at the beginning of December, there's you saw coming up a couple basketball goals on the street. Okay. So some of the kids out there, some of them, some girls. I don't know how old they look to be taller. Yeah, they they, they still middle school, elementary. They ain't no high Damn. school kids, okay. right? And my little girl's elementary. She wants to go play. She makes it to the fucking driveway and can't go no further. I can support. I can instigate. Mm-hmm. I can sit and try. Yeah, go ahead over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm mm-hmm. right here. I'm gonna stand right here and watch you. But, but you she's got, terrified. You got to go make that move. That's not. I can't. Baby I can't make you. a friend for you. No, like, no, no. Hey, my baby girl wanted to come play basketball. With and, and, and I try to tell her mm-hmm. that could be a best friend, a lifelong friend. That could be friend. your lifelong friend. That could be something you find out you love basketball through. There's so many opportunities just by putting yourself out there. That's it. Nope. Nope. It's the technology, bro. I, yeah. I swear it plays a role so much that she we gonna try to find see. her name and send her a message. Probably something like that yeah, bullshit. But that's yeah. that's the era, the mm-hmm. generation we in now, bro. It blow, it baffles the fuck out of me. But it makes sense if you try to put yourself in their shoes and realize what year they were born. Yeah, stuff like that. You like, oh, okay. If I was born this year, then I wouldn't know shit but that either. Yeah, I wouldn't know how to go talk to somebody in person for the first time ever. Yeah, I wouldn't know how to do that. But back then, we ain't had no choice. Thank you for Yeah, there one more time for the big play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, thank y'all. Here we go. I'm going to turn the fuck up now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, ha. I sent the fifth of Christian brothers to myself. That's a one of the guys. I told you I need some help. If I die, I'm drinking liquor. I mean, I die, I'm drinking well. I said, I die off. That's a southern act. If you ain't tell. Hang around my home and bring me out my shell. But I'm stuck around myself. And it's black. And I stand back. I was expressing my passion in that studio. I was out chasing the bag, heard the groupie hoes. I'm just not into the gossip and Pinocchios. They can't knock me out my. I'm trying to keep my brain inside. I can't find one no bother. I throw shots, they go through the bricks. I swear I always hit my goals. I see through the shit. It's gonna be hard to wipe me out like a big booty bitch. Swear I say if people my boy, they say you a bitch. It's funny because I'm a nice guy. Skating room mm-hmm. Wednesdays or skate nights at the skating ring Wednesdays or weekends or whatever. 
is their game time now. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Do y'all even have sleepovers and stuff like that anymore? Like, yeah, like genuine ones, though. I think they do. I, I, I put it like this. We've had one, over, and we're going to have more over here because I think that's an important thing to do for it when it comes to It definitely is. They got to engage with it. They got to find people throughout life, not mm-hmm. just whenever it comes. Facts. You got you to gotta be social. If anybody younger in the young crowd, let's just say, shit, 17 and younger, I guess, y'all need to interact. Interact yeah. with people for real. Put the phone down. And interact yeah. because it it'll show you something that that phone can't. That's right. That's all I can say. That's the best way I can put it. What is it gonna show you? I don't know yet. Just go do it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, and showing showing you something that most can't. Yeah, uh, you shit. told me I was wrong over here. The album is Book of Life. Yeah, but Book Role of Life. Models. Role models is the hey, name of the song, man. That motherfucking video. When I watched that shit, I was tuned in from the moment mm. I started, and then I went and got it, downloaded, yada yada. Yeah, but yeah. Appreciate that, that too. Hey. Mm-hmm. You got losing my mind. I thought it was a good one. Not, I'm tight. Well, I even told him I ain't gonna. If I don't know it, I ain't gonna act like I do. Facts, and, and I three, respect that though. Don't fake up. kick it with me. You ain't gonna get far. And I found, I saw him through Brody. Shout out to Brody. Shout Hans. out to my triplet hey. elements. Shout hey. out to Lou Life. Do this too, cause he the third. It's the triplet. Me, who is that? Me, Brody, and Lou Life. Lou Life. This. Shout yeah. out Lou Life. But that's on uh through the motions, right? Yeah. And that's a good song. That's too. on Lou Life album that just dropped. Lou Life. L O U L I F E. One word, space, D-O-D-I-S. Boom, hit the search bar. And go get that album called The Coldest. That's where you will find the song Through the Motions with me, Brody, and Lou on there. Triple S. Hell yeah. Now, I like I like that it's not just, uh, how do I say this particularly? And happy birthday, Trip. It's your birthday today. <laughs> Happy birthday! Yeah, yeah. I may not basement, know you, but basement it, family. Many more to come. OG many trip. Many more to come. You never heard of OG trip in the city? I have, but I have not met That's, OG trip. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I ain't met. I haven't met Rocket. I haven't met Slim. Uh, Man, we all be in yeah. close proximity. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> I, I, you know, me and mine. I'm. I came in through. In general, of Augusta through the bike world or whatnot, but when yeah. getting back out, uh, the comedians, man, I, I fuck with my craft first. And, I could plug in yeah. with some people. So I'll be, be working, man. I'll be just trying to mm-hmm. find out. Because I'll tell you this, I feel like if you know you're supposed to be somebody, yeah. it, don't, it don't matter uh, what. It shouldn't matter what. Yeah. You got to figure out what the what is. Facts. Right? The what and the why. Right. Why are you doing it and what? At yeah. the same time. And that's yeah. one reason why like, I'm doing this is because I feel like I didn't get enough guidance to be the best father I could be. That. I didn't get uh, uh, lessons and and um, experiences to show me what a proper father is. Man, I be dealing with that right there, too. Like, man, since I turned 30, I believe. I didn't, I didn't have a father. You feel like... Of course, I had a sperm donor, whatever, blah blah blah. But I ain't really running to dudes. I was like fifteen. Oh, nutbag, motherfucker! I, got I mean, one but he too. was a cool guy though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. A cool guy, just not engaged enough. My not son. with me. You digging what I'm saying? Yeah. So with that being said, whatever, yada yada yada. Fast forward time, he passed away. But he wanted to get close to me before he passed away. But I was, I just wasn't feeling that shit because I was already in my twenties. You know what I'm saying? But now I'm in my thirties, and I wish that we still could like rekindle something because now. We want to know what's next for us. Yeah. And we have nobody to tell us what's next because we didn't have that father figure. You digging what I'm saying? So that comes with trial and error. Yeah. And that's the part I deal with daily. So let me ask you a question then about your father, if, if you're okay with it. No, nah, I don't care. Uh, about it. I got a song in our called No Daddy. Y'all go check that out. That's on therapy too. Uh, you, um, you feel like if you would have reconnected, it would have changed something? I don't feel like it would have changed much. But I feel like I would have um, overstood more so of where I come from on that side. Okay. You know what I'm saying? To, like, let me know what I identify with, what I don't identify with. You know, just get what I can from the situation. Yeah. Instead of nothing. Like, literally, I know who he was. He ain't even my birthday, bro. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Type shit. So, you my daddy. You know, you, you can't even tell me my birthday. Yeah, that's that's, that's how weird that was. Yeah. So. Me wanting to get to like tap in with them wasn't nothing like, hey, I love you and all the other type of shit. Now nah, I just want to know what's going on. Well, I ask because I'm my my biological father's about I don't know t- less than ten miles away from here. Mm, you that's ain't deep. Seen, you ain't seen the kids. They don't speak to me. That's deep. And that's you fine. Know what I'm, I, 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 I'm asking. That's lame. If you well, ask me, I look at it like this. I don't think that every relationship supposed to be great. 
You got to have, sometimes it's going to be, but if but not. But it should be okay. But both parties got to be involved. And I'm going to say this. I feel like I'm trying to ask a question to you about your, your father, but I'm going to say it through mine. Right. Uh, I know I put in my work to give my all for the effort I feel like that's deserved for the re- rekindling. Yeah, fact. At this point, until you show me you want, What's going, yeah, yeah, I'm good. Yeah. I don't, I've made amends. I forgave. I don't give a fuck. I and moved you move, on. Yeah, moved I'm going to figure it out without you because you clearly don't want to be here. So in that sense, like when I look at that, I, I, I'm 30. Yeah. I, I, both my parents aren't here. Both mm-hmm. my parents aren't really engaged. Right. So I look at those moments of, man, how am I going to feel when they go? Right. Right. right now, and that's a weird space. I, I can't lie piss, to you. It's I a, won't even piss on his grave, bro. But it's weird, bro. You never know until that day comes. I think it's going to change, but I still feel that way. And it still makes me realize that in, for myself that maybe I do want the rekindling. Mm-hmm. I know for a fact if it. I'm going to hit you like with some death, psychology shit. Deathbed shit? Yeah, he going to be a different person. Yeah, he going to But gonna if wanna... we go rekindle, rekindle, it's not It's not going to be good. We're not going to have a good interaction. It's not going to be good for me. Right. And if that ain't, it's going to be toxic. Right. Yeah. So if I can't get, like, there's no point in me going and fighting with a motherfucker I know I don't want to fight with. Right, right, so right. So it's it's a, I, I, I dread those moments where how am I going to really feel when I lose And them. that shit going to suck, bro. I don't know. I'm, I'm telling you firsthand, like. It might not hit you. Is it, it, well. It might not. I don't. I can't even really speak on that because I don't know y'all relationship and the ins and outs of it. None. But it's pretty. But I'm saying the same it's, thing with me and I mine. I put it like this. I'm gonna tell you the relationship real quick. Short swimple. Taught me how to work. Right. I didn't. I, when I say slave drove, I was his. I was his advantage because yeah. I was willing to work and he try was ben, to. He was benefiting of you. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't meet him till I was 15, and that's when the Did benefit like started. So then when it tried, tried, tried. Now I was juvenile, so he tried to play his hand. So physicality, you know, physical abuse, yada yada yada. But once I was able to stand up, and you I was it. Yeah, motherfucker. I'm go I'll go to jail, bitch. Let's go. <laughs> and that was it after that. And then I've like I said, I've tried to make my amends. I mean, we worked at the same place, at the same job. He worked days, I worked nights. I ain't speak that motherfucker for three, four years after a fight. Uh, not, not that I wasn't willing. It's doable though. That's I wasn't doable. willing. To, I was willing, to, but it's gonna take a man to come talk to me because I'm at a point where I see what a man is, and you ain't giving me what a man right, is. Right, right. So, and that, that's our relationship. It ain't an equal, normal. It's not a give and take. It's nah, a give and give. Give, give. Yeah. Give me, what, give me, so give me, you give doing me. what you supposed to do? Narcissistic. But you I still think. gonna feel a certain kind of way when it's like, okay, cool. Now, even with the bullshit, the bullshit stops, but it's good and bad. Yeah. Because. From from what I'm hearing on some psychology shit, you know, <laughs> it's just some goddamn that's y'all relate that's that's your relationship. You yeah, know what I'm saying? So when he passes, that's that's gone too. You're gonna miss that. I got my relationship with my parents is abuse mm-hmm. from my father's side. All right. And abandonment issues through my mother. True shit. So, you know, I see all this stuff, uh, you know, just turning all the time and you and like i said you saying that makes me think about it too even now mm-hmm. and i thought about it before just because I, I feel like even right now i can honestly say i'm gonna dread the opportunity to have those moments with each of my parents right and like, that's that shit gonna suck yeah I'm telling you like that's, it sucks period yeah. like i'm thankful that i own you know i got my mama that's the only person i got left in this world besides my family that i created my kids or whatever like that but that's it if I ain't had her, I don't know what I don't know what kind of mental space I'd be in. I already deal with shit anyway. Yeah. Like I'm really, I should be getting a check like on certain shit. You know what I'm saying? But man, if I ain't had her, boy, I'd be, I'd probably be in prison or worse. Yeah, my mama sent me to jail. Shit, <laughs> first time, bro. Damn. I mean, but first was it time. like was it like her teaching you a lesson though? No, nah, bitch well, couldn't take a hit. <laughs> Listen, man, okay. We was, we was. Now, don't get me wrong. I was a ru- ruthless bitch. Couldn't take a hit. That was funny. Uh, Y'all ain't listening. I was just an angry <laughs> white kid, right? And um, situation happened. Got upset. I'm flagrant. You know, flailing around everywhere. And I don't recall intentionally hitting my mama. Right. But she got hit. She got hit hard. Mm-hmm. I don't remember. It being a how, I don't know if it was a swing or a straight it's trying to hit somebody else. Yeah. I just remember, But you know, she was the one who received the contact. She caught the contact. <laughs> and she fell on the ground. And Damn. That was a whole situation. And yeah, they, they took my ass away to a boot camp for a year for that shit. Mm. Yeah. 
Yeah. That's but, crazy. I mean, and I ain't gonna say that affected. I think that uh I needed to go through my years of juvenile detentions. I needed to experience uh life differently. I needed the hard path. Yeah, for sure. Some people need that. She can't accept that. I accept that now. Yeah. I know that I'm blessed because I got to struggle in those moments and yeah. deal with those environments and and cry and be scared mm-hmm. and just and fear grow. for my life. No, you grew. Well, yeah, true. Yeah. But but in her eyes, that's what it was. Mm-hmm. In her eyes, it's, it was torture. I was bad. I was a, I was a horrible mom. I was I didn't do it right. I didn't yada yada. She and, felt like she volunteered you for torture. Yeah, you did know what but I'm saying. That ain't true though. And but she you can't help how she feel. Yeah, yeah, but it's a hard thing when it comes to how she adequates that to her relationships with her kids mm. you know what i'm saying not saying that's wrong because i know you something you gotta she gotta deal with yeah for sure but everybody got their own ways mama, it's all good we're not bashing we're yeah, not bashing mama i'm not mad at it i love you and you always gonna be you got mama. your own pellet yeah that's right Pellet podcast that's right but i mean i know i know i look at those moments man and uh it hard man yeah but they're teaching and growing moments bro yeah that's i'm trying to get more into um like doing things that make me feel uncomfortable because that's when you grow for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? So that go back to you and your father and all that. You know what I'm saying? You was like, uh, you don't want to talk to him because you already know what it's going to lead to and all that. But at this age you at now, you say it's been a minute since y'all spoke. Years. Right. So at this age now, might be a time where you can just try to jab one more time. You know no. what I'm saying? No. Okay. The only reason I say no is because, uh, all right, it's like, you gonna go fuck with the same girl that you know is the the neighborhood hoe? But that's what he like, bro. Yeah, but when you showing me this, my bro, so my other brother's in jail right now, right? Uh, and uh, you're showing me you're not changed just by how you treating him. So if I okay, can sit back okay, and observe okay. you I from afar, you from. you're, you're not you're not changing enough. You the same motherfucker. You gonna have to still come to me. Yeah. I'm not jabbing no more. You the you, same you motherfucker. Ain't yeah, you ain't okay. Changing. Now with that, yeah, that's yeah. that's great nail in the coffin. Yeah. Like it is what it is. You so, ain't gonna change, nah. And I'm cool with swallowing it. Yeah, you know, sure. I, I'm cool with taking Pause. the weight. Yeah, I just had You good? You good? Go, go, go. <laughs> I'll take that damn to my grave. You know, because I ain't. I don't see a respect in somebody who doesn't give respect in the aspects of what a man is. Man. And it, to me, I don't feel it. You, you know? said a mouthful. You said a yeah. mouthful though. Well, there's one quote that I really like too: "Is uh, men come far and few, and the real is rare." Yeah, <laughs> it's a it's a weird world we live in when it comes to what especially we think a man this is. generation, yeah. especially this generation. It's people who think because they got money that they're real or they're like the picture boy to be a man. Mm-hmm. Like, nah, bro, a lot of y'all weirdos with money is just weirdos with money. Bro. Yep, that's like that's yep. all. Yep. Your character is what make you rich, and I'm rich as fuck. You that's know what I'm saying? saying? Like, I like that. I like that. I'm rich as fuck, bro, and I just stay out the way because I ain't meant to spend my riches with everybody. That's right. If that makes sense. That does. You know, on, the, on the mental aspect. I'm out the way, bro. So that's how everybody should design their life. Because, man, it costs way too much energy to fake it. That's true. And I'm going to say a whole lot of more shit. Now, that's the most simplest way I can put it. It takes way too much energy to fake it. Be yeah. yourself, bro. If you fake it, be fake. And go hang with the fake ones. Yeah. If you're real, it's always going to shine. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry about nobody doing you wrong. Yeah. I tell you this, too. Sometimes... The moment's just supposed to be for you. Yeah, everybody can't go. Everybody can't go. Shout, shout out to people that's been in my camp. I know they're going to watch it. They ain't going to tell me they watched it. But, you know, we had to, I had to move a couple people around, bro, because everybody can't go. Everybody don't got the same morals. Everybody ain't got the same sight, the same vision. Yep. So if you don't got the same vision that I have, it, even if it's just right here, I'm looking way back there, though. Making moves. So if you can't even see right here. Yeah, you got you move around. You got yeah. to, bro. And it's nothing personal because when you move around, you are gonna meet somebody else who's gonna probably help you. Yeah, you never but know. You know what I'm saying? Everybody can't go, and and you're not meant to carry everybody, bro. Yeah. And see, you say that. That's why I love certified CEO. Certified. Consistency, effort, and opportunity. opportunity. God damn it! Telling you, you me? man. Shout out to Bobby, man. Big hey, Bobby man. Band. This is the new Bob Marley hoodie. That I, I got to get me one. Hey. I like the color flow. The color? Man, look, they don't yeah. even see how I go from the green nah, to don't. the yellow to the red. Y'all, oh, hey. Bobby, check out the promo. You Bobby, see it? Bobby, you did joke. Yay, I'm telling you. And make sure y'all grab one of them bags, too, right there. Certified CEO, leather bags. I'm yeah. telling you. And he got the luggage bags, too. I'm telling you. Yeah. Look at that. Check that out. Yeah. I'm telling you now. Stop playing. Shout out to Bobby, man. That's my boy. 
And he gonna tell you to go check out the Out the Way Gang, the RTM, the Artistic Minds Collection, man. You know what I'm saying? Out the Way Gang. I'm gonna have to get something from you. Put it up in here. Oh, I got you, bro. I put some up in here. Ain't no pressure. If y'all see anybody with Out the Way, Out the Way Gang merchandise on, man, don't fuck with them people. <laughs> That's all I can say. Oh, now I want to fucking work. Tell me you ain't seen some stupid ass white people like this before. Right, it's a group of them too. They practicing pussy eating. Practicing pussy eating together in unison. In unison. In unison. In unison. <laughs> That's, I mean, I mean it's every a group. bit of 15 people. Right. Every bit of 15 and people. And all of them doing it wrong. All of them. <laughs> they side to side here. Right, y'all tripping. All right, let's upgrade. Let's go a little further. <laughs> you tell me he don't look like Boss Baby. Man, like a final boss <laughs> of midget. Finish him. <laughs> I go final midget boss, man. Shit, motherfucker swagged out now. He confident. He That's wobbling like crazy, but he confident. Pablo muscles. All right, here we go. <laughs> I'm Willis. Now this is wrong. Born without arms, bro. So he learned to do everything in his life using his feet, bro. including. Bro. Hell yeah, I'm knocking that <laughs> shit out of the park. Oh my mama, that shit go. I saw this me. I mean, I died. <laughs> oh my mama. I thought they was gonna show the man catching it. Man, man, shit, man look, look, I'm glad they did. I'm glad they didn't have him catching it, bro. Because he probably would have got abused. Like people are amazing. No, Peppa Pig ass toes. feet, bro. It's not an easy. That's a Patrick SpongeBob bro. toes. That should look like uh chicken breast. <laughs> like like the bone at the end. You know what I'm saying? That should like chicken breast, bro. She got chicken. Are you gonna be posting this on the um shit so they can see it? I don't know if I can, but if I can, I'm gonna start. Yeah, man. If y'all can see these chicken breast feet. I haven't done. I haven't posted them yet, but I, I want to. I just don't know if it's illegal or not yet. Nah, hell nah. Screen record. Other 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 pods do that. That's what it they is. They get other people's videos. Screen record yeah, it. Oh, then, yo, yo, as long as you yeah. screen record and have your video like on your own platform, yeah, you will be all right. Oh, they say practice makes perfect. He what the? Too hard. What the fuck? Right, look at this. Now I know we got women. But yay or nay, I ain't never met a bitch with no legs that bad now. I mean, hey, if I had a and choice, she spun on that if shit I had like a, she went on a platform. <laughs> if I had a choice, who to chill with out of her and um the the uh, the other dude with the muscles? Yeah, I'm going with her all day. She oh, look cool as fuck. If I'm choosing them now, I'm gonna be honest. If when I get big, I'm getting bodyguards. Right, and that little motherfucker Man. is going. I want midgets. I want them bitches to have a. You know how sexy red be ski? Yeah. Me and my daughter look for each other. It's a, a <laughs> lost and found call. When I'm in Walmart, she gone. I, ski! I can't do that no more. <laughs> but when I got them midgets and I hit that ski, that bitch gonna come they in and die roll nut up. first. I swear to God, nut rolling first. up on you by seven, eight on. Can't see them bitches through the crowd. Nothing. They just gonna come through leg. All in your nuts or, or your badge, however they go. <laughs> All right. Now you see my dark humor is all white folks now. These motherfuckers stupid. He can whack his ass. He trying to hit a, a stick. Yeah. With another stick. He finna whack his ass. It. He p- oh my god. Yo. Oh, not me? That's too far. That one right there. It's that one. It's that one was too far. Why ain't nobody tell him, oh, oh, wait. We'll go back then. Mmm. The cry. Oh, he hurt. You had to swallow that. Oh, he hurt. You had to swallow them lungs first. Oh, he hurt. Oh, my mama, he hurt. I done made that noise before. <laughs> Anybody who remember Meadowbrook, me playing basketball, when I ran like chest first into that basketball goal, and it was a screw keeping the goal up. It hit me right in the middle of my chest. Uh. That's about damn near the same noise I made right there. Shit, I hit a. I, I was racing the guy back from uh, football practice. We was on bicycles, and we was getting extra exercise from the bicycles. And we was in the valley, and we was racing on the sidewalk. And he had a mountain bike. I had a regular bike. And I'm, we racing. I'm going. And he's starting to click gear. So I start to pump up on it, right? Mm-hmm. The moment I stood up a little bit, chain popped. Mm-hmm. I looked down at the chain. The handlebars went down. Mm-hmm. When I look up. Like this? No, they folded to the frame. That's what I'm saying. Oh, it, they folded it, backwards. Yeah. Oh. So no chain, no handlebars. And I look up and there's a pole. I only got fuck out before I hit that bitch face oh, first. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, but y'all wouldn't know nothing about them them kind of accident. She trying to get back in the building. Oh, she gonna go to a building, all right. <laughs> she live, she live. But she's oh. All them scooters saved her ass. 
Uh, that's my real for this one. You ain't. I thought I was gonna take you further. I thought I was gonna get you, man. If, man, that one right there. I just feel bad for her. like you. Take, she survived, so shout out to her. But god damn, yeah. that by four stories. You know that white movie Crows? No, I only you seen the Crow. Crows. Mm mm. I seen the Crow. God damn, they ain't her eyeball. Eye socket, bro. I took one and come in and swoop down and try to snatch the eyeball oh, out. Oh hell no. Nah. <laughs> Hell nah But they fucked up Because I would have had to find that bird I don't know how I was going to do it <laughs> I don't know how bird. I was going to find that bird But you just tried to, try to pluck my shit out I got to find that bird bro On me mammal So what you got new this year Coming out for 2024 for the people Um, Me personally I got a couple new things But I'm going to just say this right here Y'all be looking out for that Summer 17 By Brody Hammers Hell yeah You know what I'm saying Y'all go download The Coldest By Lulai Do This Um I'm going to drop an album, but y'all go get Therapy. Y'all go get Book of Life. It's a couple more albums, but they're the ones that I encourage y'all to go get. It's going to be way more shows, way more network, and way more connections. You know what I'm saying? So just stay tuned. That's the best I can say. I don't want to put no date or no pinpoint on it, but stay tuned, man. If y'all know me, y'all know I'm going to do something. I ain't going to sit around doing nothing. Go follow them vibes. You, you know what it is. Follow my trip list. Shout out to Trip again. It's his birthday. OG Trip. Happy birthday, birthday, OG. my boy. So what? What's a big goal for this year? Then do you got a big goal? My big goal this year or? is to go viral, bro. To go viral, and I need y'all to help me do that. I need y'all to help me go viral, doing the right thing. You doing know what I'm right saying? Way. So that's already a challenge. So with y'all, if y'all really with me, y'all will help me try to complete this task. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. I'm viral this year. I don't went viral a couple times, bro. But then I ended up getting in trouble with the law or some shit afterwards. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But this time I'm all the way out the way now. You know what I'm saying? Out so now this is the time right here. Y'all want to see me win? Y'all want to see us win? Support, bro. That's Hell all yeah. I'm asking. That's what's up. That's all I'm asking. Now look, now if you had three wishes, hmm. three wishes, ain't got to be career, it can be whatever you want, three wishes. Okay, to be comfortable, to make sure my mama comfortable, as for like financially, monetarily. And my third Oh man, see, I, that'd just be two wishes right there. Um, uh, one wish would be <laughs> to have more sanity. More sanity. Yeah, and that'd be it. Clear it, head. That's a good. That's, that's it. Good that's one. all. That's yeah, it. Yeah. Because if I got a clear head, I know what to do with the rest. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's all. I'm I'm a simple person, bro. Some good. <laughs> that's some good wishes. Mm-hmm. Now look, uh, what's the favorite song for Lock Life, BJ? Favorites currently now, not of all. It ain't got to be of all. What's your current favorite song? Favorite song? I don't have a favorite song, but my favorite album right now, he, you know, he a mainstreamer or whatever, if I'm going that way. Y'all go get 21 Savage's new album, bro. He really, I heard it was good. He I turned that, a new leaf. But also, go get that The Coldest by my brother, Lou Life. <laughs> do this. You feel what I'm saying? Like, because he, my bro's albums is really better than 21 Savage. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? You feel it more. I feel it way more. And um Rock Ken. Rock Ken, he just dropped another album. You know what I'm saying? If y'all know who Rock Ken is, free him. Go check out his album, free me. You know what I'm saying? But he just dropped another yeah. album. But um that's what I've been on lately, bro. Like I'm really a big supporter of the uh city and surrounding areas. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, you told me earlier that y'all got a remix of it. But my favorite song right now, Chevy by Chevy. Brody. Yeah, Yo. man, y'all go check out that Chevy it's, by Brody Hammond. It's a hard compete. Me and him got a remix. I'm gonna drop that on one of my albums. You feeling what I'm saying? So y'all stay tuned for that. Hell yeah, I love it, man. Mm -hmm. hey, I'm looking forward to all the things y'all could come up with, create, man. Because good rap music is hard to come by with the basement soul family, in it. man. Basement family. Yeah. Like we got the elements. That's me, Lou, and Brody. That's just us three. But however, you you heard of Dungeon Family, right? How it's like a bunch uh, maybe, of maybe okay, maybe. but it's like a collective of different groups and people, all of that. But it's it just comes down to one big collective. Called only only the, dungeon I know is Outcasts. That's what I mean. Oh yeah, the dungeon know, family. Yeah, the dungeon, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know but yeah. we we re recreated that. It's the basement family. Got you. You know what I'm saying? You know how like bands used to practice in the basement. Hey, stop all that noise. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We the ones in there with the noise. Yeah. But it's good noise. Hell yeah. So y'all look out for the basement family project coming soon too. You feel what I'm saying? Hell as yeah. well as the elements. Basement, 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 basement. Hell yeah. yeah! I'm looking forward to what y'all create, man. Y'all be, I'm telling you, man. I, I didn't like I said. There's a ton of rappers. Some not great. Some good. But I see a lot of good music coming out of Augusta. I think a lot of people are really putting their foot forward and, and putting the gas on. Yeah. And we'll see what comes. Man, I'm telling you, bro. If you ain't built the last, you got the way. 
right. <laughs> I'm gonna do my last little segment with you. We're gonna get you out of here. Rapper versus rapper. What locally? Nope. We doing mainstream. Mainstream. Because I'm always gonna do it. Every if I do it. Uh, Eminem or Fifty Cent? Who am I? Who am I choose? Eminem or Fifty Cent? I'm gonna choose M. Golly, that's hard. I mean, 50, I fuck with you, swear to God, I'm bro. taking 50. Fuck Eminem. I mean, but I don't, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, I grew up off a lot of Eminem, and then he introduced 50 Cent. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So that's how I'm looking at it. Yeah. So Overall, though, I ain't fucking with Eminem. But, I, but it, it, 50 Cent, bro, I love your music, swear to God. I grew up to a certain part of my life to your music. You feel what I'm All saying? All right, well, then how about, let me do a harder one then, because I, I think that's- Yeah, that, that was kind of- That's not a, it's offside. So get, oh, let's see. All right, so I would take- Quite a few people over Eminem that aren't even most people wouldn't compare them to each other. I take Mac Miller over Eminem. Oh, Mac Miller's my hands down my favorite white yeah, rapper. Yeah, me too. Uh, me too. Over Eminem. Yeah, Jack Carlos all right for a club vibe, but he ain't knowing Mac Miller. Rest in peace, Mac Miller, yeah, man. He was absolutely. him and Rob Dyrdek was like two of my favorite white people. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? Like it's it's crazy. I don't know him, but I feel like I know him. So let's let's do let's do two more and get you out of here. Let's do a uh, Nas Jay Z. That's a hard one. I know that's a hard I'm, comparison. I'm I'm ripping with uh, I don't really agree with all his music, but I'm gonna go with Jay Z. But big ups to Nas. Hell yeah! All right, so then last one is you know, and fuck you if you think that I can't take this concept from Drink Champs. That's a cool fucking bit they be doing. Yeah, I'm man. Only doing Shout to Nori, man. Hell yeah! Uh, so I'm gonna put the biggest one on Biggie or Pop. Whew. It's always the okay. Biggest, no matter- I'm going Pop though. Pop, I'm, I'm with you there. Pop. I'm going Pop. Even though he was on West Coast or whatever like that, Biggie, shout out to you too, but I learned more from Tupac. I'm going to tell you this too. reason I fuck with Brody, mm-hmm. Brody is the only rapper that has made me feel the way Pac does about my mama. He yeah. got a song about his mama too. I forget the name he of it. He got a though. couple of them, bro. But there's and one good one on go, the album. All of them go. All Yo, all of them they go. motherfucker, he, how he talks about his mama, is it makes me feel like Dear Mama with Pac. And yeah. Dear Mama with Pac is by far the only reason. That's Tupac's best song besides Yo, his diss song. I mean, all up. the songs good still, but I'm saying that Dear Mama is. That's his top whew, echelon. That's bro. the up echelon of Tupac music. It. Everybody know that song. Yeah. If you don't know that, you know, hit him up, the diss, you know. Yeah. Whatever, fuck the clicking the bitch, you know all about, that type uh, of shit. Uh, fuck what's goddamn? I'm having a brain fart. Not Brandy. Um, you talking about um Lil Kim and name? all that shit? No, nah, Tupac, the girl uh, about losing the baby. Oh, Brenda's got a baby. Brenda's got a baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Brenda's got a baby is a real deep one. But I, you know, when it comes to our mamas and our, our from son to mothers, I ain't never heard no song like that. He different, bro. man. It so I different. appreciate it. Man. Shout out to Brody, man. He's a very unique individual, bro. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And and. I'm going to look at the camera, bro. You already know I appreciate you, little bro. Yes, sir. You feel what I'm saying? And hey. you too, Lou. Anybody that fuck with me, anybody that rock with me, you know what I'm saying? You lock with me, you rock with me. Y'all know what's going on. And I appreciate you coming here today, man, talking man, shit yeah. with me. For sure, for shit talking show. Talking about some fatherhood. Man, look, me and him might end up being friends now, man. Like, it's I crazy. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so, shit. I'm here to work with you. I don't make friends it. easily, bro. Me like, neither. Me neither. But you cool. You cool I'm as fuck. I'm out of the way, bro. Like you say, I'm out of the way. But you cool as fuck, though. You cool yeah. as fuck. He cool as fuck, man. Hey. I'm telling you, he do his comedy. Y'all go check him out. Anytime y'all see a fly, your time in Archer, man, y'all go support this, man. This has been the Palette Podcast. And y'all, y'all been- here with us. Y'all keep clued. Y'all stayed in. And y'all get the likes and the comments going. If you got something to say and you want some shit that you want asked or some uh, engagement on the thing, say something. Yeah, we Don't fuck wait. up sometimes. So what? Hell yeah. <laughs> Peace. Already. L O C K L I F E B E J A Y. Y'all check me out. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, we did that. <laughs> That's pretty good. I really now good. I gotta run out the door. Go ahead, like, I'm right behind you. Too, I appreciate you, bro. Hey, I appreciate you. This won't be your last time it. hearing from me, bro. We can do it again too. I'm, I'm gonna try to. Do I just had to say that on camera because people know it. Like me, you don't even know him. Yeah. No, no, I had to say I don't make friends easily. <laughs> I'm a damn. I try to have.